Hi y'all. So <clears throat> today I'm going to be doing um, an emo test. <laughs> um, before we start, I just wanted to mention that XSplit was being a total bastard and giving me the worst time. So I've been fiddling around with that for about 30 minutes or so and I managed to upgrade or reinstall or download my plugins that I said I needed so it seems to be working fine right now so yeah I just this thing gives me a hard time quite a bit so I I guess I finally figured it out the I kept keep having problems with the frames per second and it keeps mess and it's just, it's just a nightmare, but anyway, it's fine now, thank goodness, and, okay, so, um, I discovered, um, the YouTuber Crank That Frank, like, maybe a couple weeks ago or so, I don't know exact timing, um, I've seen him pop up around, and I decided to give him a shot, because, from a different source that maybe he was like an emo alternative person or something I just decided to check him out and I've already become a fan of him <laughs> um, he's a um, he's pretty cute and um, makes me laugh and yeah so I've been I've subscribed to him pretty quick after I started watching him and it made me wonder to myself if I was emo and I end up googling it and it appears that I have some qualities of being emo like <clears throat> the way I'm sensitive emotionally and I whine about everything and everything is a struggle hey I even got a shirt that says the struggle is real because that is that is totally me so yeah that's that and um so I also I, I guess I found out that I like what is considered emo bands like I didn't realize I didn't realize for a while but after <laughs> Crank That Frank considers Fall Out Boy and 21 Pilots and of course, you got MCR, um, which I I'm not a fan of them very much. But um, it's hilarious. It's you know, crank that Frank gets when he gets G noted, which is the uh, first is the piano note or uh, piano key for the beginning of Welcome to the Black Parade. I suppose he gets triggered, as do a lot of emails apparently. But doesn't I mean it's a sad it's a sad sounding tune but it doesn't affect me because I didn't grow up with them and it, uh, it just I can't really relate but <laughs> cracks me up a bit when he gets G noted which is what he calls it it's like I got G noted that's like getting Rick rolled I guess except for that is much worse and makes him depressed so <clears throat> sorry my septum is sore. Last night I um, was thinking I was missing, I just kind of missed my septum piercing, like I took it out for several days or so, and uh, anyway I just decided to put it back in, and uh, now it's all sore because I had to basically shove it through. I think it got closed up partially or something, so I hope I didn't damage anything, and I hope I just stretched it a bit but it's pretty sore and I should have used some type of lubricant so to speak because um, if you're trying to put something through it's basically it's like ear stretching you just have to if you're wanting to have it ha have an easy go through you gotta use some type of lubricant so I didn't do that and now it's sore um, I'm gonna have to leave it in for a bit probably and uh, hopefully I didn't damage anything but anyway and I'm looking at it and I I'm not sure I don't prefer myself without it so it's a struggle with me and the body modification stuff because of uh, 
kind of obsessed. Um, I'm, I am obsessed with it, and it's kind of problematic. And yeah, I need to. I need to just figure myself out and think about other things. Anyway, um, I don't know what I was saying before, but um, yeah. Um, this emo test, uh, I thought about doing like a few days ago, and the funny thing is, the day after I th decided I wanted to film this, um, your brand new obsession here on YouTube <laughs> uploaded an emo test. So I was like, well that's just bloody weird. So, today we're going to find out if I'm an emo or not. Even though I don't dress like it, really, I just consider myself alternative, but I feel like my behaviorisms do uh, project being emo, so we're going to find out if I'm an emo. Let's go! And I wanted to mention my hair here. There is literally nothing in it. I did nothing to it besides wake up and put a comb through it. Uh, apparently my pillowcase is a fantastic hairstylist. Okay. Are you emo or punk? Wonder if you're emo or punk? We can help you figure it out. Just take the simple quiz. Start. Okay. This looks exact just about exactly the one that your brand new shit your brand new obsession did, so this is probably the same one. I actually kind of had a script I wrote down last night because sometimes I forget what I'm saying and whatever, so yeah, that's pretty, it's kind of lame, but I mean, as long as I give you guys good t content, it's, it's alright. I'm not stealing anybody else's content, I'm, I'm not stealing anybody else's, and that just brought me back to that video I prioritized because I... I, I just felt that it wasn't right. Um, I used Markiplier's uh, video to react to, and then I realized to myself that this doesn't seem right, and so I prioritized it. Um, so yeah. Off on another subject entirely. Alright. Most of the songs I listen to, it says you, but it's me. Yeah. Most of the songs you listen to are... Sad, upbeat. I'd probably say a blend of both. Because sometimes I'm into the bit of a. Um, I don't know how to explain it, but it's got a bit of an, like, an emotional thing in the back of it, so. Mm. Wait, maybe not. I'm just going to say it's upbeat because l lately I've been. Got, I've gotten into. <laughs> Excuse me. I've gotten into like heavy metal, punk, um, that just that kind of like stuff that maybe a goth would listen to, or just anybody that's hardcore kind of thing. I've gotten into that for a while now, and I've listened. I listen to it more than I would pop music, which is what's always been my favorite. It's pop music is what I listen to the most throughout my life. I mean, I started out listening to 80s and stuff because that's what my parents like to listen to. And so I just kind of went off on my own, discovered pop music, and decided I loved that. And then now I'm listening to pop and heavy metal kind of thing. So that's, that's what I'm about. The lyrics tend to be about feeling, feelings, society, it alternates. Feelings, society, it alternates. I'm going to probably, since I don't exactly know all the songs that I listen to, I mean, I usually like th songs because of the music. Um, the lyrics aren't like a huge part of why I listen to them. Sometimes it is, some of them are meaningful, or, but, you know, most of the time it's just because I love the music part of it, and, you know, so, with some songs the lyrics are just dreadful, or they're just like disgusting or disrespectful, so I sometimes lyrics don't, most songs that I listen to, the lyrics don't really take into account of why I listen to them, so 
I'm gonna say it alternates because I don't exactly know. Pick a band. They used the offspring. I like both. The used? I don't think I've ever heard of that band. Uh the offspring. Um I have heard like a couple of the offspring's music and I got they're humorous, but I don't know what the used is. I guess I'll have to pick this one since I don't even know about the other one. Sorry if I triggered anybody watching this. Pick a song title. You don't know Anarchy in the UK. I don't know if I can pick. I don't know what any of those songs are. So... I'll just say I don't know if I could pick since I don't even know what those are. Most of your playlists would be classified as emo, punk, honestly it's pretty much 50-50. Emo, punk, emo, punk, emo, punk. Well, the way mine is categorized, I have my, my, my playlists on YouTube are, I've got like mostly like pop or anything that's not considered punk slash rock, whatever. And I have those two separated out, so I figure like stuff like 21 Pilots and stuff like that. So, some of it may be in the music playlist and the stuff that is like rock or whatever, I have it in the rock playlist. So, most of my playlists. Um, I'll just say. They don't give you very good op. They don't give you very good options, honestly. They don't. This is very. Should I say generalized? It's just very little options. There's not much room to move in this type of scenario. So pretty much fifty-fifty. Uh, I'm just going to say since I've been listening to the my hard rock punk playlist quite most of the time I'm gonna say this one punk. pick a color pick a color black red black I used to love red and now I don't like it anymore so that's yeah definitely black um, however over a period of time my wardrobe is got a lot of black in it like I'm it's like I'm half goth like I prefer to wear black and what people would consider alternative rather than I, I don't like overly feminine flowery stuff anymore I like dark dark stuff like you know what I mean like just alternative stuff that's I don't know how to display it pick another color hot pink gray hot pink. I'd rather a hot pink than gray Pick a word that best describes your jewelry. Spiky, eclectic, and dark. Um, I'd probably say dark because I do like to wear skulls and um, black stretch chokers. Um, I'm wearing black, um, black glass uh, plugs. Um, I got this dramatic septum, circular barbell, um, I don't know, I don't wear spikes, eclectic, I'd probably just say dark, because I do like some dark element, I don't like anything evil, ever, but I do like dark, kind of gothic stuff there, pick the description that best fits your hairstyle, Long and dark and colorful section. Colorful and short, it changes a lot. Well, considering I have a mohawk right now, um, I was thinking of changing it again. I'll just keep wondering if I should go back to a pixie cut, because I've been having like a hair bad hair struggle for the past I don't know how long. Like I just cannot decide what fits suits me and what fits in. Like like I keep wanting something that looks good all the time 
and that is a lot to ask in terms of a hairstyle like I thought about growing out a bob and then I want it shaved and then I want a mohawk and then I want an undercut and then I want a side sweep and then no and recently I was thinking about like an emo pixie cut whatever the hell that is <coughs> I just I don't know if I just made that up or not but I'm just struggling to find something that looks good most of the time and that will look good flat because I'm I wear headphones most of the time so it's it's always flat and weird looking so I mean hairs there's some hairstyles that don't look good flat mohawks are not really one of them so still trying to figure out where I'm at in this but anyway long and dark colorful sections colorful and short since I don't suit long flowy hair I used to have it as a young uh, youngin but I don't whoops I don't it just doesn't work for me so I'm gonna go with colorful and short I've got purple in it right now more often than not you feel sad feel angry or restless but also you feel most restless and sad um more often than not you I would say I feel sad because most of the time there's very little that makes me happy anymore. It's really I've been messed up for a long time. Um, like life's getting to me, and I'm not doing what I'm supposed to do, um, according to others, and I'm finding a hard time trying to wrap my head around it or realize it. So it's just like a struggle trying to do what I'm supposed to do and whatever like people are disappointed in me a lot of the time and it's something that I have to fix so I would say that alternate between both restless and sad feel angry or restless I would probably say alternate between both restless and sad yeah because I feel both Fair band just about mainstream, how do you feel? <coughs> I get super upset, I don't care, it's fine. I get annoyed but also happy because the messages might be heard and understood. Um I don't know what that means exactly, like I would say my favorite band is probably Black Veil Brides. Although that I've taken I really like Breaking Benjamin as well, so Fair band. Um, I probably just say I don't care. It's fine. I don't. I don't even know what this really means. So let's just go with that one. I hope y'all don't think I'm dumb, but yeah, the, I don't know what that's supposed to admit. Your room looks like dark K filled pop vinyl and band posters. It's unique, an edgy mess more than anything. Not overly dark or pressing. I also enjoy. Um. Not even gonna go there. So I'm just gonna say it's unique. Your jeans are ripped. It alternates black skinny jeans. I don't usually wear either, um, though I've considered having ripped jeans. Um, if I was to wear jeans, if I was gonna wear any jeans like this, I'd probably be ripped. Yeah, let's go with that one. Can you do a really good Tom DeLonge? I miss your impression. No idea what this is about, so I'm gonna say no. Studded belts. Um, I don't wear this. I probably would wear one. So I'm gonna say maybe sometimes. Colorful studded belts. Um. I probably wouldn't wear anything, any stud belts that weren't black or something like that. Um, because I probably have a hard time trying to get it to go with my wardrobe, so I'll just say no. Your horrible breakup, are you a word? Uh, does this mean like a boyfriend girlfriend breakup? Because never had any experience with that in my existence so um, I'll fudge off I have no experience with this so I wouldn't know so I'll just say 
I might be. Do you have a big vocabulary because of Panic at the Disco? What does that even mean? I'm gonna say no. If you're a straight girl, did did do you always go for the edgy boys? This is something I probably could answer. Um, uh, let's see. Yeah, I I am straight, mostly. Um, yeah, kind of just joking about that, but there was a, I, I was actually looking the other day and reading something about being straight is not actually a thing. Boys, totally, absolutely. Um, did do you always go for the edgy boys? Not necessarily. Most, I think most dudes that I'm into are I do that's mostly what I like is alternative guys um, which makes sense because I'm alternative myself but I mean there's some men that I'm like yeah that's good that yeah so there's some there's some guys that are normal that I'm like oh he's a hottie um, but yeah, for the most part, I'm into the edgy guys, so I'll say yes. If you're a straight guy, do, do you always go for the shy... Not applicable, because I'm not a guy. Do you get asked what emo means? No. Nobody... I don't think nobody asked me what emo means. I looked the other day, and it doesn't actually mean... Emo is not short for emotional reality. I don't remember what it actually means, but it's not emotional. No, emos are probably emotional most most of the time. So I'm gonna say no. Did you write on your shoes when you were growing up? No. Did you really cry when you listened to certain music? Uh... No? I don't I don't you I'm I'm not that sensitive, but I, no, I guess not. Mosh pit. Uh, I'm afraid I don't know what that means. Does that mean when you like get in the? Is that like at a concert when you are at the very bottom of the stage? I don't know what that means. I'm just saying no because I don't know what that means. Did you learn about history and vocabulary from bad religion? No. I don't even know what that is. Is that a band? Thoughts on authority. Authority of what? Is that, does that mean if I'm... I don't understand what this means. I care about select things not good with it, don't care, too busy being sad, or I care about select things. I, I don't understand the means relative to the question. Authority over what? I'm just gonna say I care about select things, probably? I, I don't understand. Have you ever worn anything with the sole intention of offending anyone? No. Absolutely not. I just want to be myself and have people accept it. I want people to accept me as who I am as long as I'm not hurting anyone. That's that's all I want. Um, I do find that it is nice to be admired because of whatever, but yeah, I don't I don't want to offend anyone. Definitely not. Green Day. <laughs> what are these options, though? Green Day. Well, I like Boulevard of Broken Dreams. I don't know about any of their other music. I don't know what that is. I don't know what Dookie is. I'll just have to select this one, because there's nothing else. anti prom totally do when I was younger. Still doing okay. Yeah. I definitely have to go to the top one. <laughs>
Okay, I'm a hybrid. You're a mixture of emo and punk. You like music. You like music that revolves around your feelings and sadness, but also enjoy a good song with about political appeal. You're a blend, the best of both worlds. Okay, well, that is... That, I guess that sums me up. That makes sense, because... I probably... I look... I probably look more punk... Th Stop it! I probably look more punk than I do emo. I don't actually look emo at all. I don't think I ever have, really. Except for maybe when I had that side sweep stuff, but... Yeah, I don't look emo, but I act emo, I do believe, and I like punk and punk fashion. Okay, so I like punk fashion, and I like, um, I like punk fashion. I look like a punk, but I act like an emo, pretty much. So I think that it probably defines me quite well. So I'm, uh, half emo, half punk, I guess. So. If y'all wanted to know what I was about, um, comes with this, now you know. Not entirely accurate because some of those options don't really apply to me. Some of them I didn't even know what they were talking about. Some, you know, like, referencing bands I haven't even heard of, or whatever, so. I hope you all enjoyed this video. I hope it satisfied your curiosity about me. Um, so remember be happy, be healthy, be kind, and never give up. And yeah, just be yourself. Um not saying it won't be difficult or whatever, but I'm I'm trying my best not to let anyone intrude upon how I want to dress or whatever so yeah um, I keep defending my position of how I want to look with jobs and stuff which may not be the best idea but I certainly don't want to have a job to where I'm not allowed to look how I want to so I can be pretty firm with that hope you all like this video and I'm gonna stop before I start rambling about something um, you can follow me on Instagram and Tumblr and whatever social medias I'm on that's public. Um, my, I did not realize this dress I'm wearing had pockets. Or is it only one? It only has one pocket. I, I didn't know that was a thing. Okay. Completely off subject. Um... Yeah, just follow me on my social media. Keep up to date with me. I post mostly on Twitter um, and Instagram. Tumblr is not a highly used source for me. Like, uh, I encourage you to leave comments down below. And you can ask me questions or just, just talk to me. I want to hear from you all. Just please keep it um, PG or whatever. I mean, I'm not one against cursing or whatever, but yeah, just don't leave any nasty comments because they'll be removed. So, I love you all, and I will see you in part two of this if I do another or some other video. And I apologize for not posting very often. I just, my lifestyle is so messed up that I'm staying up all night and I spend most of my time on YouTube or the computer and <laughs> try to do, supposed to be my job and the housework and the whatever, so my life's quite a mess and I can only hope that I have the ambition to make it better and yeah not be so weird. Um. Okay. Bye, y'all.